Hi all, Marcus Radmore from MR Putting School at Ingraborn Lynx, uh, Capto brand ambassador also. I want to talk to you about how we measure the speed of the green. We've got a stimp meter and a golf ball and a measuring tape. We're going to find a fairly flat area of the green and measure the distance the ball travels in both directions. The ball will be placed into the hole, we lift up the meter when the ball starts to fall off its own weight and roll down the, the stimp stick. It travels in a direction for, for a certain amount of footage. We're going to measure that footage in both directions, make a division of the two numbers, and that's your stimp reading. It's really important to know the stimp of the greens because you're going to be uh, borrowing more break on a green that's faster or taking on less break for a green that's, that's a little bit slower. So uh, always worth asking what the speed of the greens are. If someone says, for example, there are seven stimp, they're probably going to be very, very, very slow and you're not going to actually take as much borrow. If there are 12 or a 13 on the stint, which is kind of Augusta standard or, or hazel tying in the US uh, during open weeks, then you're going to find that, the, that you're going to need to take more borrow for the same length putt. So let's just measure up. So Okay, so that ball's travelled 7.5 on the stimp. I'm going to measure in the opposite direction now. So I'm measuring from the base of the stimp back across. and that's travelled nine foot. So we've got seven and a half and nine. We put those together, we're roughly 16 foot. So these green speeds today here at Ingraborne are running at eight. So we know, for example, when we play golf today, they're probably not gonna break as much unless you're on a fairly severe slope. I hope that helps and I'll see you soon.